Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, the sales and support point for Spatial Manager in India. In this Spatial Manager video, I'm going to show you how you can extract elevations from live maps from any part of the world. I'm going to do this demo using BricsCAD software. So BricsCAD, Spatial Manager, CAD Power and GeoTools are part of our new InfraPower suite which offers you a complete solution for your infrastructure, surveying and mapping requirements. So first, in Spatial Manager, you go to the Show option here, which will bring up the online map providers. And here I'm going to select Google Maps Hybrid and click OK. Once this is done, I can see the world map on the screen. And you can see that I already have two points here near my area of interest. So I've chosen one of the hilly areas slightly north of uh, Amboli Ghat on the Maharashtra Goa border. So I'm going to zoom in here. You can see that I've already created two points here and I now want to extract the real elevations in this area. You can see that I'm already connected to online maps using Spatial Manager. So I go to Spatial Manager and click on Elevations. Select area in order to download terrain elevations as 3D points. So I'm going to select the area. So my first point is this node and the second point is this node. So now Spatial Manager is going to get the elevations from the online service and I can choose the resolution I want. So I'm going to take 40 meter resolution for the point. So it has processed all the points and now it's asking me what do you want to create out of it? 3D points, contours or terrain. So first let's create the 3D point and then we move on to the other options. So I click OK. So you can see that the points have been created. I can change the point style to show this to you in a better way. So I'm going to remove all the point styles. You can see the 3D points now on the screen and I'm going to do some layer management here. So I'm going to switch off my marker points layer which was where my two red points were and then I'm going to select all these points and place them in the DEM points layer. Okay, so you can see the blue points are the recently extracted elevations. So if you want to view them in 3D, so now you can tilt the view and see how the points stack up against the terrain. Now I don't need the terrain anymore, so I'm just going to capture and this is going to disconnect the connection with the server. So I have the image which has been inserted as a dumb image i'm going to delete it so i have now only the points that i need so this is what i required so you can already visualize the terrain it's flat at the top and then there's a valley at the bottom so my next step is to create contours from this terrain so i'm going to spatial manager go to contours select the 3d points to generate contours so i'm going to select all of this you have several options to create the contours. So if you go into contour options, you can set your major and minor intervals. So I'm going to set the minor interval as five, the major interval as 25. You can also create the contours in the layers that you want. So I'm going to choose the appropriate layers, which I've already created before. You can set the colors of the layers as per contour types, major and minor, or in an elevation range by altitude. You can even label the elevations if you want, and you can label the minor contours as well. You can also create the elevation data as tables so that you can access them or export them to ArcGIS, shape files, and so on. So I will check this option. So it's going to create a table called contours in which the elevation data is going to be stored. So I'm going to click OK and then OK again. So it's now going to run the triangulation again and compute contours for this area. All right. So here I have the data. The contours have been created right over the points so once again i just change the view and you can see it in a better way so 5 meter and 25 meter contours so this is how you generate contours using spatial manager it's very quick very easy and very accurate as well now in settings you saw something about data so that is something you can check out here go to tools entity data create or edit entity data you can click on this and you can see the elevation data is stored as x data so before we created the contours you saw a settings that we could store these elevations as table data now that is available here go to spatial manager go to show grid so the table explorer opens here now here you can choose contours as a table right now there's only one table so i'm going to size this a bit so now any 
entity any record that you pick on the table is immediately highlighted here on the drawing so you can choose those options here automatic zoom automatic centering or do nothing so right now it is automatic centering so it won't zoom if you if you choose the zoom option for example so it will zoom that particular entity to the fullest visibility possible or if you just use automatic centering it will just appear at the center of the screen so with this tool you can easily create the contours assign the elevations as table data now you can also go to export and export all of this as a shape file with the elevation data and the contour geometry so in a similar manner you can create the terrain as well so if you go here to contour select those points once again go to terrain terrain options you can create it as a mesh a polyface or a tin surface for example i click tin surface which is quite efficient click ok all right so if you now move it and look at it from a different view you can see that in addition to my points and the contours i also have the tin surface generated as a triangulated irregular network so this is how you work with spatial manager and create elevation data of various kinds i hope you enjoyed watching this video do let me know if you have any questions thank you